Good morning traders, it's Friday, let's do some trading. Looking for code 2, be right back. Okay, I just jumped in short. Just jumped in short, we'll see what's going to happen here. Could be offset. Many things can happen, just feeling it out here. I could, or I could have the right entry right here. And it's bada ba bing, it's going to go drop. We're about to find out. Let me place a stop. I'll be right back. Okay, stop is placed at 48.69 on the stop. What does that put me at? Puts me at uh, 9 ticks. 9 tick stop. Testing the waters here. Uh oh. Come on, baby. Hmm. It looked like a, a rollover to me. Or it was just going to roll over and go on down. It might do it right here. Okay, interest of time. I'll come back. Okay, I think it's going to do it here. It's going to drop out. Here we go. Oh, not yet. Okay, I'll come back. Hmm, looking like it's setting up to be offset here. Hmm. Sure is tricky lately, I'll tell you. Okay, come right back. Okay, here we go. This one's going to do it. It's going to break down right here, and it's going to drop. Now I should have the code 2. The code 2 trade. It was good for 120 ticks yesterday, by the way. I'll be right back. 120 ticks it was good for yesterday. So, and today's Friday, though. Friday, sometimes Friday can be a beautiful day. You know, like 200 ticks even. But a lot of times Friday will be choppy. It'll go a certain amount, but still it'll go back the other way, too. So it can really be choppy. Seldom is it like just a trending day where it just keeps on going in one direction. But it is setting up on the daily here to have a nice day to go down because we're in um, new territory on the downside for a long time. So it might have a tendency to capitulate a bit going down in on a Friday so I'm gonna kinda hold it for a little bit and feel what it wants to do how slippery it is how much it wants to go down how far down we get how quickly from from my point you know if it really starts to to move I will have a tendency to hold it if it if it's taking a while I'm gonna go for uh, less ticks like maybe Let's see, what's my entry? My entry is pretty good. Let me see here, 70. My entry is pretty good. I'm going to go for 70 ticks. Yesterday was 120. I'm just going to go for 70 if it takes a while. Otherwise, this thing may uh, get going here. And we may have a nice uh, day going down. So I wouldn't want to, you know. I've got a good position here. I've got the code 2. I've got a 100 tick exit on it right now. Um, you know, I have the luxury of just sitting here watching it to see what it's going to do. There are certain ways you can know if you want to go for more or not. All, all according to the code, of course. All of this is according to the code. You're seeing for yourselves how powerful this is. How I can, boom, take an entry, boom, goes the right way, boom, I make a big trade. You know, like, well, how could he know that? You know, how could he do that? How could he do that every day? 
people think of some other rational, you know, explanation. Whoa, well, he must be, you know, uh, cheating in some way, you know, doing some replays or something, you know. Instead of the truth, which is, I broke the code. Is they, they, they laugh at that. Ah, you didn't break a code. Blah, 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 blah. No? I didn't break a code? Are, are you sure about that? <laughs> uh, I did break a code. And now I'm showing it. We got a uh, code 1 buy signal there. I'm just going to hold it. Code 2 overrides code 1. Uh, code 2 good for about uh, 80 ticks right now so that is a concern but uh, I'm just gonna watch it see what code 1 does and hold the position holding the position short I've been holding all the way up here and um, you know this is one of those things where uh, it's about the code 2 if you want to hit it you have to go for it if you get out early then you won't you know obviously if you don't get back in, you won't be able to hit it. But if you stay in the whole time from where you get in to where it should go to and you hit it, then it doesn't matter what it does. And that's what I'm demonstrating. That's what I'm showing you now. That's the way I play it because it's the easiest way to play it and the best way at the same time. So I'll come back. Okay, it's getting close to breaking the previous low here. Right there's the low. It's almost down there. What my plan is is to do something like this. Once it gets below 47.90, right here, and drops below that, say to about 80, I'm gonna place a break-even stop on it at 47.90 to lock in that 70 ticks and just let it go. It'll either go to the 100 tick exit of 60 or come back and stop me out at 70. But once it breaks below that low, it's likely to go 20 ticks down from there. So I'll be able to place a break even stop at 90 and then let it go. So, you know, but there's also a good chance it's going to be a 100 tick trade. Very good chance of that. And I don't even really need to place the break even stop, to be honest. You just need to be able to judge its capitulation move and the bottom and stuff. Let me think about this. What's the math of it making 60? It would be like 120. It's stretching it. It's stretching it on the code even. Yeah, it's stretching it. It's time to look for an exit here. Okay, I'll come right back. Almost made it down to 90, down to my original exit. Almost. See right there. Almost made it. We're about to get a signal here. You know, there's been no capitulation move whatsoever. Really would be looking for one. I think I'm just going to ignore this signal. If it goes long, I think I'm just going to ignore it. It should be able to make it down a little bit further. I'll come right back. You know, I'll be happy when it, it, it's not so tight anymore. Because it's really tight. Normally I have to struggle for these exits like this. It's just really, really tight out there. Next week it should open up some. By the way, that low was a new low on the daily chart. That's a brand new low right there on the daily. So we are holding short on, a, you know, just off of a brand new low on a daily, you know. We are not sitting in a bad position right now. I'm still looking to get out for 70, 80, 90, 100 ticks though. I'll come back. Okay, we have gotten a code 1 long entry. And the code could have already gone 90 already. It's possible. And certainly 70. So it's possible mathematically we have reached the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the next code 1 as the decision maker. If the next code 1 goes short, I'll hold it till it goes back down. And or if the code next one gives a long entry, that'll be two back-to-back -back long entries, and I'll go ahead and go along with it. 
or I'll exit this position and call it a day. I'll come back. Okay, we looked at the beginning at code one, short entry. It's offset. Offset right there. So, for now, I'm going to go ahead and hold it and see what it wants to do and what the uh, code one starts to say. If it's going to continue down, it should start to give short entries. There's the first one. I've just placed a stop at 4812. If it wants to pop up there, I'm going to stop out right there and call it a day. And it may do it too. And it may continue to go down, but I'm in a hurry to leave. It's Friday, and I just want to get this straight over with at this point. Or to come down. I mean, it took forever to even get it down to here. It's like really choppy and taking forever to move. Normally, it doesn't take this long. Normally, it gets me out on the first big run down. Then it'll come up and play around for a while before it makes another move. I usually get out on the first one. And call, and call it an early day, but all week long it's not been doing that. It's been taking forever to make it to the exit. Anyway, I'm just going to put the stop right there. It's either going to make it to my exit now or make it to that stop. I'll come back and uh, at least show you the outcome of this trade. Where did I get in? I got in right here at 48.60 going short. Where did I say it would go down to? 47.90. And it almost went there. How did I know that it would go down to there though? Why am I still holding? Well, there's a reason for it. You are looking at the most real thing that you've probably ever seen before. It's one of the reasons why they call it a scam because it's the real deal and um, now you're seeing it for yourself with your own two eyes and we're about to get a signal here should be a short it should drop really good and drop below this low and I'm looking to get out for you know 70 80 90 100 ticks let's go Normally this thing would be moving a lot more. It's Friday. It's starting to slow down. I am looking to get out. I still have my stop right up here at 12. And I'm hoping it's going to break break down here. I'll be right back. It's, tip, it's uh, going with its choppy motion here. It's bouncing back up. I wish it would just either stop me out here or make it move down one way or the other. Just so I could, you know go about my business for the rest of the day. Still got to do the charting for today too. I'd like to get some other things done. Oh well, sometimes you get stuck like this. But normally it would have already hit the exit. You'll see when I start doing this every day, you'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, it's uh, finally come up and stopped me out. So I am done for the day. And I am done for the week, except I'm going to do the charting today. And I nailed the uh, the uh, code 2 entry, but uh, couldn't hit the exit that I wanted. So had to settle for something less today. Anyway, still can make good money on the code 2. It's just a bit tight this week. Next week it will open up and get a lot better. And I'll be all over it next week. And every week from now on, now everybody in the world can witness for themselves the power of knowing the codes and especially knowing code 2 with respect to the oil market. I am here speaking the truth, teaching the truth. Don't let anybody out there fool you otherwise because there are people who are trying to do exactly that. Can they show you the truth? Can they show you this every day? No. Do they show their face like I do? No. Do they show their real name like I do? No. I do all that because I speak the truth. They hide behind message boards with no name, no face, and fake IP addresses. You're seeing it for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. 
I'll be back next week. Happy trading traders and I'll see you in my charting service.